petroleum products will not last forever. There is an urgent need to conserve these scarce resources like diesel and fuel by adopting good driving habits, better maintenance of vehicles, by use of public transport instead of own vehicles. So friends, let us contribute in saving the fuel and help the nation. Download the PCRA Android app to know more about saving fuel issued in public interest by Petroleum Conservation Research Association, Government of India. हमें यहाँ का बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है हमें लग रहा है कि हम कॉम्पिटेंस बहुत अच्छी है कॉम्पिटिशन तो हमेशा ही बहुत अच्छा होता है क्योंकि यहाँ तक आने के लिए कोई आसान बात नहीं है तो उन्होंने काफ़ी एफर्ट्स लिए होंगे इधर तक आने के लिए ऑल ऑफ द कंट्री मैनी स्टूडेंट्स कम अराउंड टू पार्टिसिपेट एंड ऑल्सो दे कैन गिव देयर बेस्ट आई एम वेरी प्लीज एंड हैप्पी दैट एंड दैट आई गॉट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू रिप्रेजेंट माई स्कूल द पी सी आर कॉम्पिटिशन हमें पेट्रोलियम और ईंधन का बचाव करना चाहिए We should switch to green fuels. Fuel खत्म होते जा रहे हैं तो इसे बचाने की पूरी कोशिश करिए Well, hello there. They say we do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, but actually borrow it from our children. Ladies and gentlemen, with that thought in mind. I Gautam Bose your quiz master of the day take pleasure in welcoming you all to yet another exciting episode of PCRA presents Saksham 2018 an inter school quiz competition and the biggest one at that which talks about biodiversity conservation and nature let's welcome all The journey of Saksham until now has been a pleasure. We started this exercise with an online campaign. The online registration had over 2 lakh students from over 31,000 schools. करीब करीब 2 लाख बच्चों ने participate किया था online elimination round में और वो 31 हजार different schools से थे. उनमें से कुछ चुनिंदा लोग आज हमारे बीच मौजूद हैं टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू प्ले द वेस्ट जोन सेमीफाइनल्स एट दिस क्विज एंड वी आर प्लेइंग फॉर अ स्पॉट एट द नेशनल फाइनल्स सो लेज एंड जनमेन विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी फॉर द टाइम लेट्स टुगेदर मिथ द टीम्स ऑन टेबल नंबर वन वी हैव अ टीम फ्रॉम दादरा एंड नागर हवेली बाब्स स्वामीनारायण विद्या मंदिर प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ हेलो एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल गुड मॉर्निंग Chirai Agrawal from Bhat Swaminarayan Vidya Mandir Silvasa and your partner is Hello myself Jay Desai from BABS Swaminarayan Vidya Mandir uh, we are from Union Territory Dadar Nagar Haveli All right welcome to both of you but uh, might I ask something let's go for a prediction you all know that we are playing for a place in the national finals only one team will qualify there how confident are you about winning do you think you will win the quiz you will come second third or fourth and you need not be modest you can just make a prediction it's all our participation okay. uh, it is it is great that we have participated but if we can go to the finals it will be a great fantastic that should be the spirit well done well done and welcome the two dashing looking gentlemen all the best to you moving across to team number 2 now who's from the sainik school in chatisgarh welcome gentlemen please introduce yourselves good afternoon to one and all present here myself karit abhishek soni i'm from sainik school ambikapur chatisgarh and your partner is good afternoon one and all present here myself karit shubham singh i'm from sainik school ambikapur chatisgarh hello cadets both of you welcome now team number 1 they did not make a prediction do you want to go down that route do you want to make a prediction for yourself whether you will win the quiz come second third or fourth Coming first is the only way. 
they say coming first is the only way well that's the other extreme but uh, good to have the spirit let's welcome them once again very very well done because please do remember for our television audience that the four teams up here on stage have defeated many many other teams to be here which means all of them are incredibly good चलिए हम बढ़ते हैं हमारी बाई और टीम नंबर थ्री की तरफ हु हैव क्वालिफाइड थ्रू अ वेरी नर्व रेकिंग बज अराउंड विच वर दे वर टाइट फॉर द थर्ड स्पॉट बट गुड दैट दे हैव मेड इट सो केंद्रीय विद्यालय बालाघाट मध्य प्रदेश कुड यू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ प्लीज गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू माई नेम इज यश बोपचे आई एम फ्रॉम केंद्रीय विद्यालय बालाघाट मध्य प्रदेश एंड योर पार्टनर इज मॉर्निंग टू मॉर्निंग ऑल माई नेम इज मोहम्मद अनस खान आई एम फ्रॉम केंद्रीय विद्यालय बालाघाट मध्य प्रदेश Okay, welcome to the both of you. Now I have a different question for you. आप इस क्विज के लिए आपने कितनी तैयारी की है? How important is winning this quiz for you? We study from uh, study materials and more environment books and petroleum uh, sites. Also, we can visit to petroleum more. sites, studying environment books. Well, they seem to have come prepared. So let's clap for them once again, please. <laughs> welcome. And then, ladies and gentlemen, completing the lineup, the fourth team, हमारे पास जो चौथी टीम है वो आई है गुजरात से हरिपारा गर्ल्स स्कूल आप अपने आप को प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस कीजिए आपका नाम बताएं। मेरा नाम सोलंकी अनिता है मैं गुजरात राज्य के अमरेली जिले के धारी गांव के हरिपारा प्राथमिक शाला में से आई हूँ हार्दिक स्वागत है आपका और आपके पार्टनर है मेरा नाम सौरा महेश है मैं गुजरात ऐसी आया हूँ अमरे थी हरिप्रा स्कूल में आया हूँ right. अच्छा चलिए मेरे को ऐसा लग रहा है कि चार टीमों में से आप सबसे यंग है आप कौन से क्लास में पढ़ते हैं एट और आपके पार्टनर एट में पढ़ते हैं चलिए ऑल द बेस्ट टू देम प्लीज क्लैप फॉर देम बिकॉज दे आर द यंगेस्ट ऑफ द फोर टीम्स और राइट गुड टू सी ऑल द स्माइलिंग फेसेस बट नाउ You'll have to get in the mood of the competition. याद रखिएगा ये एक कॉम्पिटिशन है तो रिलैक्स होके खेलिए लेकिन मेरे प्रश्न ध्यान पूर्वक सुने मैं बहुत जल्द आपको एक्सप्लेन कर देता हूँ ये रूल्स क्या है इस पूरे गेम के हम इन टोटल पाँच राउंड्स खेलेंगे हर एक राउंड के अलग अलग रूल्स है आई एल एक्सप्लेन टू यू एज वी कम टू ईच राउंड बट टू स्टार्ट ऑफ विद द फर्स्ट राउंड हैज एट क्वेश्चन Now listen to the rules carefully of this round. Each team, हर टीम को दो प्रश्न पूछे जाएंगे हर प्रश्न के आपको मिलेंगे चार ऑप्शन जिनमें से एक होगा सही और ऑब्वियसली बाकी तीन होंगे गलत आपको जो करना है वो ये कि सही उत्तर चुनना है अगर आपने वो कर लिया तो आपको मिलेंगे दस अंक अगर आपने सही उत्तर नहीं दिया तो फिर मैं ऑडियंस के पास जाऊँगा उनसे आंसर लेने के लिए कोई नेगेटिव मार्किंग नहीं है और क्वेश्चंस पास नहीं करेंगे लेज एंड जर्मन बिफोर आई एक्चुअली बिगिन विथ टूडे शो माइट आई वंस अगेन रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू इन द ऑडियंस टू क्लैप फॉर ऑल द फोर टीम्स बिकॉज दे आर वेरी वेरी गुड एज आई सेट राइट देन सो लेट्स बिगिन द क्वेज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज अ डिरेक्ट फॉर बी ए पी एस स्वामी नारायण विद्या मंदिर Listen to my question carefully which is also on your monitor which of the following country has the highest biodiversity aur aapke options hain a brazil b south africa c russia ya d india a brazil a brazil aapko lagta hai south africa russia aur india uttar sahi uttar nahi hai You're confident about your answer. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, they are right. Opening 10 points. Well done to them. Let's clap please. <laughs> Brazil is a huge country just to give you some additional information. It's a huge country and the Amazon runs through it, which is the longest river in the world. Right? So well answered. You earn yourself 10 points. Agla sawal hai direct team number 2 ke liye jo hai Sainik School Ambikapur from छत्तीसगढ़ ये रहा आपका सवाल आपके मॉनिटर पे द वन हॉन्ड राइनोसरस स्पेसिफिक 
टू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सेंचुरी और आपके ऑप्शन ये रहे भीतर कालिका इज योर फर्स्ट ऑप्शन बंदीपुर इज योर सेकेंड ऑप्शन द काजीरंगा नेशनल पार्क इज योर थर्ड ऑप्शन और इज इट द जिम कॉर्बेट नेशनल पार्क काजीरंगा काजीरंगा यू नो वेर काजीरंगा इज इन विच पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री दे थिंक द राइट आंसर टू दिस वन इन काजीरंगा एंड दे से इट्स इन असैम लेस एंड जनमेन लेस क्लैफ फॉर दैम टेन पॉइंट वेल आंसर very very well answered now towards my left moving to team number 3 from kendriya vidyalay in madhya pradesh here comes your question listen to me carefully which of the following forests is known as the lungs of the earth which of the following forests is known as the lungs of planet earth and your options are as follows the tiaga forest b the tundra forest c the famed amazon rainforest or is it d the rain forests amazon of rain forest. northeast india amazon rain forest you think the right answer to this one is the amazon rain forest ladies and gentlemen the first three questions have been answered on the direct well done to them let's clap good answer very very good answer coming out from team number 3 all right mera agla prashn hai team number 4 ke liye jo aa rahe hain haripara school se gujarat mein jo hai ye raha aapka sawal which of the following group of plants exhibit more species diversity in mein se kaun group of plant zyada se zyada डाइवर्सिटी प्रदर्शित करती है आपके ऑप्शन है ये एंजियोस्पर्म्स बी एलगी सी प्रायोफाइट्स और डी फंगी फंगी यू थिंक इट्स फंगी ये सिर्फ एक गैस है कि आप जानते हैं इसके बारे में नहीं जानते आप जानते हो यू साउंड नहीं जानते हो ओके कभी कभी गट फीलिंग और गेस्ट वर्क भी बहुत काम आती है एटलीस्ट क्विजिंग में लेज एंड जर्मन दे आर ऑल्सो राइट लेट्स क्लैप फॉर दैम वेल आंसर इट इज फंगी वेल आंसर टीम नंबर फोर चलो पहले चार प्रश्न के तो हमें सही उत्तर मिल गए सभी टीम्स ने अपना खाता खोल लिया है अब देखते हैं अगले राउंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन में क्या होता है वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू इन द सेम फॉर्मैट next direct question is coming in the way of bab swaminarayan vidya mandir from dadra and nagar haveli listen to the question carefully which of the following species in the atmosphere is called atmospheric detergent ye bahut hi mazedar prashn hai inme se kisko atmospheric detergent ki sangya di gayi hai aapke options hai a क्लोरिन रेडिकल बी हाइड्रोक्सिल रेडिकल सी मिथाइल रेडिकल और डी ओजोन रेडिकल एंड योर आंसर वुड बी टीम नंबर वन ए क्लोरिन रेडिकल यू थिंक द आंसर इज क्लोरिन रेडिकल गुड दैट वी डोंट हैव एनी नेगेटिव अटैच टू दिस राउंड बट ब्रेक्स माई हार्ट टू से योर आंसर इज रॉन्ग so i'm going to bounce that back to the audience ye main audience ke paas ja raha hu main question aur ek baar dohra deta hu aap sabhi ke benefit ke liye question tha in mein se kisko atmospheric detergent ki sangya di gayi hai aur aapke options hain chlorine radical hydroxyl radical methyl radical aur ozone radical audience mein se jo koi bhi इसका उत्तर देना चाहते हैं अपना हाथ उठा सकते हैं और हम आपको कुछ प्राइजेस भी देंगे अगर आपने सही उत्तर दिया तो यस व्हाट्स योर आंसर ओजोन रेडिकल द ओजोन रेडिकल आई एम अफ्रेड इज द रॉन्ग आंसर चलिए चार ऑप्शंस थे दो ऑप्शन तो इसमें से निकल गए क्योंकि एक ऑप्शन टीम वन ने ऑलरेडी दे दिया है दूसरा ऑप्शन आपने दे दिया है तो हमारे पास बचे हैं दो और ऑप्शन तो ये फिफ्टी फिफ्टी है चलिए मैं आपके पास नेक्स्ट आता हूँ आपका क्या उत्तर रहेगा मिथेन रेडिकल 
ओके चार ऑप्शन में तीन ऑप्शन निकल चुके हैं अभी तक मुझे सही उत्तर नहीं मिला so i'm going to give out the right answer the right answer that i was looking for is the hydroxyl radical it is known as the detergent of the troposphere because it reacts to many pollutants that is the reason why it is called the detergent okay moving now across to team number 2 to sainik school chatisgarh here comes your question which of the following is not a type of x c2 conservation method your options are botanical garden b zoological garden c wildlife sanctuaries or is it d the gene banks wildlife sanctuaries you think it's wildlife sanctuaries ladies and gentlemen they are right let's clap for them 10 full points to sainik school chatisgarh as table number 2 All right left with few more questions next direct question is for KB Balaghat Kendra Vidyalay Balaghat Madhya Pradesh here is your question the principal components of photochemical smog in urban areas are SO2 and NO2 SPM and carbon monoxide C SPM and NO2 or is it D hydrocarbons and ozone B SPM and carbon monoxide SPM and carbon monoxide I'm afraid is the wrong answer I'll have to bounce that back to the audience audience mein jo bhi iska uttar dena chahe aap apne haath khade kar sakte hain right at the back the lady D part which is hydrocarbons and ozone I'm afraid that's the wrong answer. Sha, I should next go to this gentleman here, which is a what? Part. Yeah, I've heard A, but what was the option? You don't so remember that, is it? So two and and no two. Perfect, ladies and gentlemen, let's clap for him. <laughs> Absolutely right. All right then, and uh, don't worry, the two right answers that I've got from the audience, uh, one on this and one in the earlier question. you would definitely be given some prizes all right then moving back to team number 4 ye raha aapka sawal which of the following habitats has not been included as indian biodiversity hotspot aapke options hain a the eastern ghats b the western ghats c north eastern hills or is it d the south eastern hills south eastern west south eastern hills option d i'm afraid is the wrong answer let me once again come back to the audience somebody who hasn't answered jisne abhi tak koi uttar nahi diya hai chaliye main aapke paas aata hu north eastern hills no so i have not got the right answer to this one the right answer that i was looking for is the eastern ghats all right then ladies and gentlemen that about does it for the opening round of this exciting quiz we are left with lot of other rounds at the close of this round it's a good time to have a first look at the score card team number 1 from babs swaminarayan vidya mandir dadra and nagar haveli are on 10 points let's clap for them please It's still early days into the quiz but leading at this point in time is team number 2 Sainik School Ambikapur Chhattisgarh on 20 points. Well done to you Sainik School. On to my left Kendriya Vidyalay Balaghat is on 10 points and so is team number 4 Haripada School from the state of Gujarat. So all the four deserve another round of applause please. So let's begin with round number 2. This round is specific to science and technology. Questions jo puche jayenge wo science aur technology pe aadharit hain. Main aapko is round ke rules samjha dun. Hamare paas total hai char prashna, ek direct question to each team one at a time. Agar aapne sahi uttar diya to aapko milenge 10 ank. Agar aapne galat uttar diya to koi negative nahi hai. but questions do not pass 
All right, all the best to the four teams on stage. Here we go. First question for Bob Swaminarayan Vidya Mandir School. The technique of DNA fingerprinting was initially developed by which of the following people? Was it developed by Ian Wilmot? Was it devised by Hargovind Khurana? Was it by Jacques Monad? Or was it by Alec Jeffries? Hargovind Khurana. Har Govind Khurana, a very, very famous scientist, but I'm afraid that's not the right answer that I'm looking for. I'm going to bounce that back to the audience. Yes, to the girl there. D part, Alec Jeffrey. Okay, your answer is Alec Jeffries. Sakshi, let me tell you, you know about DNA fingerprinting well enough and you get yourself a prize. We cannot give you 10 points, but we can clap for you. And you'll definitely be given a prize. Well answered, Shaksi. All right then. Next question is a direct for Sainik School, Ambikapur. All the best, Sainik School. Aapka prashna ye raha aapke monitor pe. Carbon monoxide is what of the following? Is it A, an oxidizing agent? Is it B, a reducing agent? Is it C, a catalytic agent, or is it D, a neutral agent? Neutral agent. You think is the neutral agent. Well, too bad for the last few questions. We are not getting right answers from the teams on stage, which means good news for the audience at least. Jitne baar ye galat uttar denge, main utni baar audience ke paas jaunga unse uttar lene ke liye. Who wants to give me an answer now? Right at the back, the girl there in the last row. Reducing it. You think it's reducing agent. Ladies and gentlemen, she is absolutely right. Let's clap for her. Reducing agent. A goodie bag, curtsy, PCRA. They are the ones who are doing this quiz. Congratulations. All right then. Unfortunately, the first two questions in this round went unanswered. I'm hoping there would be a reversal for team three at least. Here we go with your direct question, team number three. Of the four fundamental forces in the universe, which amongst the four is the strongest? Your options are A, electromagnetic force, B, gravitational force, C, strong nuclear force, or is it D, weak nuclear force? Sir, option B, gravitational force. You were too early into this. You could have taken a bit of time, thought about it, and then should have given the answer. But now, since you have already done that, you cannot reverse your answer. I'm afraid that's the wrong answer. Gravitational force is not the answer I am looking for. All right, audience, they are very animated. Okay, to the gentleman there in the second last row. C, nuclear strong force. You mean strong nuclear force? Yes. Nuclear strong force would mean a little different, all right? But ladies and gentlemen, he is absolutely right. Let's clap for him. Good answer. Now we have to reverse this. Team number four. The first three teams didn't get any points. Unko apne direct pe koi points nahi mile hain. Lekin mai reasonably sure hu कि आप मुझे अपने डायरेक्ट प्रश्न का सही उत्तर देंगे ऑल द बेस्ट टू टीम फोर ये रहा आपका सवाल आपके मॉनिटर पे विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ पोल्यूटेंट मेजर्ड इन एयर क्वालिटी इंडेक्स आपके ऑप्शन है ए कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड बी लेड सी नाइट्रोजन डाइऑक्साइड एंड डी अमोनिया all right, ladies and gentlemen, the bad luck on stage continues. None of the teams have given me the right answer in this round. That's the wrong answer. So I'm going to go back to the audience and seek the right answer. The young uh, man there in the second last row. See, nitrogen dioxide. It's not the right answer. Nitrogen dioxide is wrong. Can we pass the microphone uh, right at the back to the girl there who's standing? It's the ammonia. Now I cannot throw it open anymore to the audience because out of the four options, 
three have been exhausted and afraid we haven't got the right answer yet. The correct answer that I was looking for is A, carbon dioxide, which is not a pollutant which is measured in the air quality index. All right then, the last round proving a little tough for the teams on stage. Well, that's okay and that's understandable. Some of the teams are nervous, but all that I can suggest to you is look calm and composed. Take your time, do not answer in a hurry because you will not get any additional points if you answer in a hurry. So then, ladies and gentlemen, at the close of the second round, the scores remain the same. Team number one, Bap Swaminara and Vidya Mandir is still on 10 points. Leading the quiz at this point in time is the Sanic School from Chhattisgarh on 20 points. Kendriya Vidyale, Balaghat, Madhya Pradesh on 10 points. And team number four, Haripara School is also on 10 points. But all of them, as I keep on saying, are incredibly good. Hence, they are here on stage. So let's clap for all the four teams, please. All right, teams, the last round did not go according to your plans, but we can reverse that in the next round, which we call rapid fire. Questions in this round are based on general knowledge. Okay, they are short. The answer should be short and crisp. Here are the rules of the game. You can take as many questions in your allocated time of 60 seconds. If you don't know any particular answer, you can say pass, in which case we'll go to the next question. If we have time remaining, we can even come back to the question. The scoring are as follows. No negatives, 10 points per correct answer. And try and take as many questions within the 60 seconds that you can. All the best to all the teams. Uh, 60 seconds will be given to you. In 60 seconds, you will get the right answer in 60 seconds. You will get the right answer. So carefully listen and answer quickly. All the best to all the four teams. Let's begin with team number one. And your time starts now. Which of the following is not an immediate hazardous effect of earthquakes? Tsunami, avalanche, land and mudslides or hurricanes? Hurricanes. Hurricanes, hurricanes. hurricanes is right. 10 points. Which of the following states as of March 2017 has the largest cumulative solar energy generation in India? Rajasthan, Gujarat, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh, Andhra Andhra Pradesh. Pradesh is also right. Two on two. Malaria is a mosquito-borne infectious disease caused by which of the following? Virus, protozoa, Bacteria, protozoa. algae. Protozoa. protozoa is also right. Three on three. Well done. NASA's Cassini spacecraft was an expedition to Mercury, Saturn. Pluto, Saturn, or Saturn. the Sun. Saturn. Saturn is correct. Four on four. Which of the following is not the effect of the revolution of Earth? Length of days and nights, determinations of latitudes, changes of season, or change in the direction of winds and ocean currents? Determination of latitudes. No, that's incorrect. Next question. I am afraid your time is up. Ladies and gentlemen, but they did incredibly well. Only one incorrect answer. Let's clap for them. Well done. Well played team number one. That was fast, that was curious, and that was on the dot. All right then, next up is team number two, the Sainik School from Ambikapur, Chhattisgarh. And if you are ready, gentlemen, we'll start your timer now. Supernova is a black hole, an asteroid, a comet, or a dying star? A dying star. Dying star. Right? Next one. Among the following, who is the author of the book, The Indian Struggle, 1920-1934? Maulana Abul Kalam, Jay Prakash Narayan, Subhash Chandra Bose, or Manovendra Nath Roy? Maulana Abul Kalam, Ajat is incorrect. Subhash Chandra Bose is the right answer. Which of the following associations was founded in London by Dadabhai Naroji in 1866? The Bengal British East India Society, the East India Association, the British Indian Association, the Madras Native Association. British India Association. Is incorrect. The East India Association. 
Rudraprayag is situated at the confluence of rivers Alaknanda and Dash, Bhagirathi, Mandakini, Nandakini or Dholi Ganga. Bhagirathi. Is incorrect. Mandakini is the right answer. Which part of India has the Kalakot Territory coal field? Is it Brahmaputra River Basin of Assam, Damodar River Basin of Jharkhand and West Bengal, the Himalayan Mountain Region or the Cardamom Hills of Kerala? Damodar. Quick answer because Damodar I'm Damodar allowing that to you. Damodar. No, is incorrect. The correct answer is Himalayan Mountain Region. All right. Uh, well played by team two. Some misses, some hits. Let's see whether that's good enough at the end of this quiz. In the same way, now we move towards the left of the stage to team number three, Kendra Vidyale Balaghat, Madhya Pradesh. Your time starts now. Melanin is the natural pigment that gives color to human skin, hair and iris. It provides protection against what? A. Ultraviolet, ultraviolet radiation. radiation. Is correct. Well done. Which of the following waves is used for detecting forgery in currency notes? Ultraviolet waves, infrared, infrared wa waves. Once again, please. Infrared waves. Is incorrect. Ultraviolet waves is the right answer. Who among the following can attend the meetings of both houses of parliament while not being a member of either of the houses? The Solicitor General of India, the Vice President of India, the CAG or the Attorney General of India. The Attorney General of India. Is correct. Well done. Next one. Who among the following was the founder of the Young Bengal Movement? Is it Henry Vivian De Rosio? Is it David Hare? Is it Dwarkana Thakur? Is it Prasanna Kumar Thakur? David Hare. David Hare is incorrect. Henry Vivian De Rosio. Next question. I am afraid that is your time. We cannot ask any more questions, but let's clap for team number three also did reasonably well to give you some inputs henry vivian de rosio was a famous educator he was one of the pioneers who founded the presidency college now known as presidency university in calcutta all right then if you are ready we'll start your 60 seconds counting you down now sampada scheme is being implemented by the ministry of dash Finance, Housing and Urban Affairs, Food Processing Industries or Earth Sciences. Earth Sciences. Earth Sciences is incorrect. Which of the following vitamins has a role in blood clotting? Vitamin A, Vitamin B, Vitamin E or Vitamin K? Vitamin K. Is correct. Vitamin K is the right answer. The term probiotic is applied to A. Organic food, B. Antacid antibiotic, C live microbial food supplement or rotavirus uh, organic food no live microbial food supplement next question water boils at a lower temperature at high altitudes because a the air pressure is la is less b outside temperature is less c latent heat is less or d none of the above none of the above the correct answer was the air pressure is less concave mirror i've started so i'll complete Concave mirror is used in headlights of vehicles because A. Focuses light from the bulb onto nearby vehicles B. Sends parallel rays C. Fits well into the shape of the headlight or D. Is cheaper than other mirrors the I need a quick answer please D. No is incorrect The correct answer to this question is Focuses light from bulb onto nearby vehicles all right then ladies and gentlemen that was really quick let's first of all clap for all the teams who did reasonably well in this round now let's see whether your effort is good enough to propel you to that one place at the national finals so ladies and gentlemen to our television audience we'll stop for a very short commercial break but as you can see this quiz is poised at a very interesting stage please do come back where we pick action on the fourth round and have a look at the scores thank you very much for watching Petroleum products will not last forever. There is an urgent need to conserve these scarce resources like diesel and fuel by adopting good driving habits, better maintenance of vehicles, 
by use of public transport instead of own vehicle. So friends, let us contribute in saving the fuel and help the nation. Download the PCRA Android app to know more about saving fuel issued in public interest by Petroleum Conservation Research Association, Government of India. Yellow. Good news, sir. आज से आपको पेट्रोल पे 20 परसेंट का डिस्काउंट मिलेगा। 20 परसेंट, 20 परसेंट। लॉटरी लगी। तो मेरे बाकी के पैसे इतने डाले? वो तो आपके हाथ में है ना? 45 की स्पीड पे गाड़ी चलाइए, रेड लाइट पे इंजन ऑफ कर दीजिए। 20 परसेंट पेट्रोल तो जरूर बचेगा। बात तो वही है ना? PCRA का एंड्रॉइड ऐप डाउनलोड करें और ईंधन बचाने के उपाय जानें। पेट्रोलियम संरक्षण अनुसंधान संघ, पेट्रोलियम एवं प्राकृतिक गैस मंत्रालय, भारत सरकार द्वारा जनहित में जारी तो इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल जो है एक बहुत अच्छी डेवलपमेंट है जो वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज में काफ़ी अभी उसके ऊपर जोर शोर से काम चल रहा है बहुत सारी कंट्रीज उसको प्रमोट कर रही हैं प्राइसिंग में भी प्रमोट कर रहे हैं सब्सिडाइज भी कर रहे हैं और उस तरह का इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर लगा रहे हैं ताकि आपको रास्ते में कहीं भी उसको फ्यूल अप करना हो या रिचार्ज करना हो तो आप उसको रिचार्ज कर पाएँ अपनी गाड़ी के परफॉर्मेंस के लिए डीजल बचाने के लिए हम समय समय पर डीजल फिल्टर मेंटेनेंस का पूरा ध्यान रखते हैं और इससे जो है गाड़ी का जो है फ्यूल में स्टार्टिंग में जो है बहुत अच्छा जो है परफॉर्मेंस आता है और राइट लेज एंड जनमैन वेलकम बैक आफ्टर दो शॉर्ट कमर्शियल मैसेजेस वी आर पॉइस्ड एट अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टेज इन दिस क्विज यू आर वॉचिंग पीसीआरए प्रेजेंट सक्षम 2018 a pan india inter school quiz contest which talks about the environment and its conservation at the end of the third round the scores are as follows team number 1 bab swaminarayan vidya mandir from dadra and nagar haveli are on 50 points let's clap for them well done to both the gentlemen moving across to the sanik school ambikapur chatisgarh they are on 30 points let's clap for them as well To the left of the stage, Kendra Vidyale, Madhya Pradesh. They are on 30 points as well. Let's clap for them, please. And completing the lineup, team from Gujarat, Haripada School is on 20 points. Let's clap for them. All right then. Let me explain to you the rules of the fourth round. It's a round based on earth sciences. and it's a round on the buzzer all right the dreaded buzzer round the scoring are as follows questions do not pass you can hit the buzzer at any point in time don't wait for me to finish asking the question if you press the buzzer give me a right answer you will get 20 points If you press the buzzer give me a wrong answer unfortunately 10 points will be docked from your score if you hit the buzzer and then wish to pass fir bhi aapko negative 10 ank milenge iska matlab iska abhipraya ye hai ki buzzer tabhi dabaye jab ki aap relatively sure ho apne answer ke bare mein okay so all the best to all the four teams once again let's zoom into round number 4 which is on the buzzer the first question of the buzzer round here it goes which of the following is or are direct sources of information about the interior of the earth earthquake that is team 1 i'll complete the question for the benefit of our television audience a earthquake wave to volcano c gravitational force or four earth magnetism now you'll have to select the answer using the code given below One and two only, two only, three and four only, or four only. What is your answer, team number one? A. Team number one, your answer was A. One and two only, which I'm afraid is incorrect. So you lose ten points on this one. The right answer that I was looking for is B. Two only. All right then. Question number two of the buzzer round. Here we go. Which of the following? is not a time period of the dinosaurs is it a triassic b cambrian c jurassic or is it d cretaceous those are the options yes team 2 has gone for it what's cambrian. your right answer cambrian. hopefully cambrian cambrian they sound confident and ladies and gentlemen they are absolutely right well done 20 points 
for getting Cambrian right. Okay, two down, two more to go. Third question of the buzz around. Here it comes on your monitor. Which of the following energy sources does not originally come from the sun? Mind you, does not originally come. That's team number one. I will complete the question for the benefit of all does not originally come from the sun. Is it A, wind, B, ocean, thermal energy, conversion, geothermal or hydroelectric? I need an answer, team one. B, hydroelectric. Hydroelectric, I'm afraid, is the wrong answer. You lose 10 points on this one. The correct answer that I was looking for is geothermal. Too bad, 10 points talked off from team one, Paps, Swami Narayan, Vidya Mandir, Dadra and Nagar Haveli. This is the sawal on your monitor. Pe. In geological studies, P waves have the following characteristics except that they are A. Body waves B. Travel like sound waves C. Can pass through liquids or is it D. Slower than S waves Nobody going for the buzzer yet Press it even if you are relatively confident Sometimes your gut feeling also works we don't have too many rounds left. Only one more round to go. Iske baad sirf ek round baki hai. I am going to close the buzzer in 3, 2, 1. I'm afraid I have to take that as a pass and I'll throw that back at the audience. What's your right answer, Malang? Slower than S waves. Let's clap for him. And we'll give you a prize as well. Well answered. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with the first four rounds. You are watching the West Zone semi-finals of PCRA Presents Saksham 2018. At the close of this round, the scorecard is as follows. Team number one, Babs, Swami Narayan, Vidya Mandir, Dadra and Nagar Haveli are on 30 points. Let's clap for them, please. Well done. <laughs> Moving across to the Scenic School as team number two, they are right now leading the quiz on 50 points. So round of applause for them. <laughs> Moving to the left of the stage, team number three, Kendriya Vidyalay from Madhya Pradesh. They are on 30 points. And completing the lineup, team number four, Haripara School, Gujarat. They are on 20 points. So let's clap for them as well. Just to remind all our teams on stage, we are still playing for that elusive spot at the national finale of this prestigious quiz. Here comes round number five. It's a round on visuals. The scoring of this round are as follows. 20 points if you give me the right answer. If you don't, no need to worry. There are no negatives at all. Questions would pass. We'll start with team number one and then go to team two, team three and end it with team four. All right, having said that, all the best. Here we go. First question of round number five. Aapko hum ek chitra dikhayenge, jo ki ek deep sea fish ka hai. It inhabits the deep waters of the coast of Australia and Tasmania. Aapko batana hai is fish ka naam. Is fish ka naam kya hai? In 2013, 2013 saal mein, is fish ko ek uh, not so good khitab mila tha. This fish was voted as the ugliest fish in the world. Aapko batana hai is fish ka naam. Yes, team number one, what is your answer? The ugly fish. The ugly fish. Well, I did mention that the fish does not look that good. So they come up with an answer like the ugly fish, which is clever, I might add, but is not clever enough to fetch you any points. All right, then we are going to move across to team number two, Scenic School. Ab iska jawab denge. Pass mat ki jiye, main itni guzarish karunga sabhi team se. Ugly fish to nahi hai iska naam. Pink fish. Pink fish. Because pink, pink. Mein pink hai. 
PIG pig. PIG pig fish. Oh my god. That's a well cheeky little concept a pig and a fish fused together. The pig fish. I'm afraid that's funny but incorrect. Moving to team number 3, Kendra Vidyale. What do you think is the name of this fish? A pet fish? Pet fish? No, that's not the right answer either. Main jaunga ab team number 4 ki aur team 4 aap uttar dena chahenge iska. Team 4, I need a quick answer. No. All right. I'm going to bounce that back to the audience. Whoever wants to answer, I'll give a chance to the gentleman here. First row, number 3. Blobfish. Blobfish. This is the blobfish. Now coming back to the teams on stage. Direct question is for team number 2, Sainik School, Ambikapur. Here is your question on the monitor. It is a prehistoric monument and is one of the most renowned UNESCO World Heritage site located in England. You will have to name it for us. What is the name of this prehistoric monument? What is your answer? Stone Age. Well answered. Let's clap for them. 20 points. Well, before the start of this round, you were on 30 points with that lovely answer. You are now the joint leaders. You are up on 50 points. But we still have some more questions to go. Question number 3. is a uh, direct for kv here it comes on your screen it is a heavily edited logo of a famous international organization now when i say famous i won't be wrong if i call it the most famous organization world renowned what is the name of the organization kendra vidyale i need an answer from you now This is the last direct question coming your way. Team 3, I cannot give you that much of time. I need to extract an answer now quickly. I think I'll take that as a pass. Moving that to team number 4. Team number 4, aap kuch guess karna chahenge? Ye bahut hi famous organization hai. I'm sure aapne is organization ka naam to zarur suna hoga. Chhipra Crossing? No. That's not a logo. That's not the right answer. Moving towards team number one. Team number one. What do you think? It is the logo of UNESCO. UNESCO. This you think is the logo of UNESCO? Ladies and gentlemen, good enough to give them 20 points. Well done. 20 points it is. The United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization UNESCO is at the forefront. of various activities the world across the very famous unesco and team number 1 have identified it absolutely correctly last question of this quiz last question let's see if you can answer this on a direct here comes your question he is known for his extraordinary goal scoring feats who is he I'll be extra nice to team 4. I'll give you some additional clues as well. Ye sirf prasiddh player hi nahi hai. Ye itne prasiddh the ki unhe ek baar Germany ka citizenship bhi offer kiya gaya tha. No, I think I'll have to pass that to you. That was very very easy. Possibly the easiest question of the entire quiz. Team number one, what is the correct answer? Dhyan Chand. Dhyan Chand, Major Dhyan Chand. And how do we know him? Why is he famous? For What did hockey. he play hockey. for his hockey? The hockey wizard Dhyan Chand. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the correct answer. Twenty points to team number one. Well picked up. Twenty points. That's the incredible Dhyan Chand who could score. Some people say at will. All right ladies and gentlemen after the end of this exhilarating uh fest uh, zone finals it's time to have a final look at the scorecard and it is a big surprise team number 1 from Bapps Swaminarayan Vidya Mandir 
joint leaders on 70 points. Let's clap for them, please. <laughs> Tied up for the top honours is team number two, Sainik School, Ambikapur, also on 70 points. Let's clap for them, please. <laughs> Kendriya Vidyale, team number three, they end the quiz on 30 points. And team number four end the quiz on 20 points. So let's clap for the other two teams. Well done, all of you. All right then, ladies and gentlemen, there was no better way to end the quiz than in a tiebreaker situation. Might I remind the two teams who are tied, there is only one available spot at the national finale from this grouping. So here are the rules of the tiebreaker round. We are going to do a sudden death format. I'll ask you a question. The question would also appear on your monitor. The team between the two, who's the fastest on the buzzer, would be allowed to answer. If you press the buzzer, give me a right answer, you book your spot at the national finale. If you press the buzzer, give me a wrong answer, unfortunately, you lose and your neighboring team would make their way to the national finals. So press the buzzer, play well. All the best to the both teams who are tied up. Here we go. First question of the buzzer round on your screen now. You have to identify the currency from the picture given. You have to identify the currency. I will help you out with an additional clue. It is from an Asian country. The currency is of an Asian country. There are lots of clues if you look carefully at the picture. Asian country not too far away from India. I'm trying my best to arrive at the right answer myself. All right, I don't think the teams are going to hazard a guess on this one. The answer that I was looking for is the Thai baht, the currency of Thailand. All right. So we still have not got a result. So we'll continue in this present format. Next question, look sharp on the buzzer. Here it comes on your screens. From the picture, you will have... Yes, that is team number two. If you're right, you qualify for the national finale. Vietnam. What's your answer? Vietnam. Vietnam. The flag also looks a little bit like the Chinese flag, but you think it is the Vietnamese flag. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of this round, one team is uh, going to go home uh, not uh, feeling too well. They are going to feel dejected and the other team, of course, is going to celebrate. Now for the result. Team number two, Sainik School. Ladies and gentlemen, make their way to the national finale. Let's clap for them. They are absolutely right. Well answered. This is indeed the Vietnamese flag. I feel bad for team number one. So I think uh, the audience would be kind enough to clap for team number one who also played marvelously well. But as they say, so close yet so far. I'm sure you are going to do well in your life in whatever sphere you are in. So my congratulations to all the four teams who had reached thus far because end of the day, you had defeated many other teams to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very fortunate to have amongst us a very distinguished personality. May I please welcome on stage Dr. Surinder Pratap, Director, R&D, PCRA, to give away the prizes. Welcome, sir. Let's clap for him. <laughs> Warm welcome to you. Good to have you here. Okay, we are going to do the prize distribution in the reverse order. The team placed fourth. May I request you, Haripara School from Gujarat, to kindly come up in front of the stage and accept your prizes. So then, ladies and gentlemen, we have found out our second winner from this zone. Sainik School Ambikapur is going to the national finale and they are going to join the winners of the earlier zone, Sir Padampat Singhania School. 
please join us back again next week where we play the same exciting quiz with four new teams from the east zone until then as i always say god bless and good luck thank you very much for watching पेट्रोलियम पदार्थ सीमित हैं और जल्द ही खत्म हो जाने वाले हैं इसीलिए इन दुर्लभ पदार्थ को बचाना जरूरी है एलपीजी बचाने के लिए प्रेशर कुकर का इस्तेमाल करें पी द्वारा बताए गए साधारण टिप्स अपनाएं। आइए दोस्तों हम ईंधन बचाएं और देश की प्रगति में हाथ बटाएं। पी का एंड्रॉइड ऐप डाउनलोड करें और एल बचत के उपाय जाने पेट्रोलियम संरक्षण अनुसंधान संघ भारत सरकार द्वारा जनहित में जारी